my first project is eco water bottles. And all of you have seen, a lot of you have seen my eco um, water bottles. And these are what we're gonna make today. And I've been showing the water bottle bracelets for some time. They're made out of a water bottle and I've shown where we take and we just wrap them with, just take and wrap them with um, fabric. And I didn't bring any samples on this, but we've just been wrapping them just with fabric over and over again. So when I was playing a while back, I found that if I, if I put felt on them, I could kind of get them to look like they were felted. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have kind of the felted look. And um, these are some of the water bottles that I use. You can use any water bottle. You can even use the ones that have um, the, the different embossing on them. They're fun to use. And what I do is I use masking tape to tape off my area. And you can use any kind of masking tape. I use certain sizes of masking tape and that's what's gonna determine the size of my actual bracelet. So I have taped this off and I usually will use like this line down here. This is a, this is a designer secret right here. I start with putting my tape on here there because there's a line right there that gives me a nice straight um, bottle for a bracelet for my bracelet. So first thing I do is I take a sharp craft knife and just kind of cut in between and cut down here. And then as soon as I, and be sure that you save these fun ends, because I'm going to show you in my next show, which I'll tell you all about at the end of the show, I'm going to show you how to use um, the ends and the tops. So you cut them apart until you have like this. This is what I've cut off of another bottle. Now, what I do on this particular project is I take off my tape. And I, again, you know, being eco, I do save my tape for the next water bottle to, to mark it off. I just kind of put it on the side of my work table. So I have a water bottle here for the bracelet that's already cut. It's about five inch, five eighths of an inch wide. And then I'm using a double stick, double sided tape. And I'm going to just put that right onto the water bottle. And double sided tape has, has like a paper on the back. Make sure you get it straight. It's a paper on the back that you have to peel off and it's, and it's sticky. And you just go around and round until you have it on. And when you get to the end, so that you don't have any gaps, make sure you do it right next to each other like that. Okay, then you start, and I, I don't always pull off all my paper at one time. I just do little sections. And get it started. My hands are very cold in my frosty studio today. It's been very cold in California. Okay, I'm gonna put that down for a second because then what I do is I take, I take some felt and I just cut just kind of wonky. I just don't even care. I just want it kind of like a little bit, few little triangles here and there. And today I'm gonna to use the white and black. And then I just start to stick them into the double-sided tape. And I do have an overhang. And put the next one in. And it kind of determines, you know, what the next one's going to be. If it's going to be, you know, like a, a triangle that's kind of going the other way. Oops. And I'm going to do some black. And then we're going to do some white. And as soon as I get done, I have another designer secret right here coming up. Can you do that? And can you see how fast this is going? It's so cool to craft eco and then have it go so fast that you could actually, before you go to work, you could actually make a bracelet that would match your outfit. And when you get to the end, sometimes you have to kind of trim one to exactly fit. You have that big space there. So I'm gonna put that in and then I'm gonna trim it. Oops. Okay, here's the designer secret. Put it down on the table and take like a, a pencil or maybe I've got the end of my um, craft knife. 
and you go in the center and you roll it against the bracelet and the felt. Because you want to really make sure that that felt is going to stick onto that sticky tape. Designer secret number one. Okay, then I trim it. Trim, trim, trim. And, and also, you know, I'll tell you right now when I'm using a pair of scissors like this, I'm using dollar store scissors because I know that if I use, because I use so many different um, things that I cut with it, um, like the soda cans and everything, when they're, when they're done, I can throw them away. Also, you know what? Don't throw those away. We'll find something to do with them. So here I have my bracelet that's all ready for a flower. So next I take some thin, oh, probably quarter inch. I cut my, um, my felt quarter inch, maybe eight or nine inches long. And I just put some glue. We're going to need to open that up. Too cold in here today. And I'm just using today the, um, the Aleem's No So. And we're just going to put on a little bit to get it started. And also, here's another designer secret. When you're using glue, don't put it up like this. Keep it laying down so that the glue is closer to the nozzle. If you put it like this, it's always going to flow down. Okay, we're going to just start to roll this. And roll. Now, as I roll, I do add a little bit of glue, just a tiny bit. And I'll show you why at the end. You don't, you just, you don't want to glob it on because it will show at the end. And I'll show you if I put too much. So I'm just going to roll. Another thing I do is sometimes I hold it between my fingers like this and I just kind of wrap it around. And you can kind of pull that, um, that felt kind of tight as you roll it around each time. A little bit more glue. And roll it around. And a little bit more. And it depends on the size that you want it. In fact, I probably could even end this one a little bit early here. Now on the end, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have glue. And I think I even need a little bit more on the end there because that it's really important to keep this. Now the felted part, let me get a pin here. To kind of have this faux felted look, you take, again, here's the designer secret. You take this end and you kind of take a sharp pin and you just kind of bring it through that felt. And that kind of takes care of that little end. And then push it over. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put some glue right onto the bracelet. Put it in. And then we're going to take a toothpick and kind of spread a little opening there, put a little bit more glue, and then in goes our little bead here. And the glue will dry clear. And then another designer tip here is to help hold it. Carefully take a clothespin and put it right over until it dries. And that's what we have here. So that's how easy it is to, to do a water bottle bracelet. <laughs> Was there any questions on um, making the water bottle bracelets? There we go. Yay. It's not felt ribbon. It is just regular felt squares that I cut. I just cut my pieces. So just the felt squares. So again, you know, felt is like, less than 30 cents a um a sheet so you could do lots out of um out of a sheet of of the um felt and also you know remember the different colors too you can have fun with all the different colors now there's one more on here too that is really a lot more felted and i'll show that to you really close too i took and did the same thing with my pin going over the the felt you know, Jody, I don't know. I don't know 
I'm not familiar with it with a felt with a felt type um, ribbon. I'm familiar with like a, a velvet ribbon, and I'm sure that that would work. But I'm not really familiar of with felt ribbon. So um, you know, give it a try because I, I think even you know, like any kind of ribbon would work the same way. Putting it into the um, the double sided tape. So give it a try. Let me know how that works. So any any other questions? The double sided tape that I have is is just about five eighths of an inch. Um, you could like you like I said, you cut it to, to be whatever whatever size you want for your for your bracelet. Another thing that I might remind you too on bracelets that we didn't go over is if you need to adjust the bracelet size, um, just cut a bracelet, either add or, sub or subtract and, and retape it. That way, um, it'll fit your wrist. This one here, which happens to be like Aquafina. Uh, works perfectly on my wrist.